Hi in students, I hope to be fine and feeling well. In this video, I gonna teach you refraction of light. Okay, let's begin our lesson. You see this picture and you see the pencil is in glass of water and also you see the formation of rainbow. How we can explain why a pencil appears to be broken when it is immersed partially in the water? How we can explain these events? Why a pencil appears to be broken when it is immersed partially in the water? And how does rainbow form? Don't be worried. The answer to all question is the refraction of light. Now, what is the refraction of light? Okay. You can see this figure. In this figure, we have two different medium, air and glass. Air is lower refractive medium and glass is higher refractive medium. Also we can say glass is denser medium and air is rarer medium. When a light light when a light ray is incident at the boundary when a light ray is incident at the boundary, this is boundary, the black, black line. When a light ray is incident at the boundary between the two transparent media, transparent media, air and glass, it is partially refracted back to the medium where it it came partially partially reflected back to medium where it came or being the laws of reflection i and r premise equal we studied the laws of reflection and you can see and a partially transmitted to the second medium. And you see, partially transmitted to the second medium. A part of the ray that enters the second medium is bent at the boundary and it is said to be refracted. It's said to be refracted. Okay, let me define refraction of light. What is refraction of light? Bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. For example, bending of light when it travels from air to glass. When light travels from air to glass, the light change its direction. The light bend when light travels from uh, air to glass. This, this event is called refraction of light. Bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. What is the reason that light bend? or refract it. You see incident ray and refract, refracted ray we have here. Air and glass. Air is rarely medium and glass is denser medium. When the ray comes from air and travels to glass, 
the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and the speed of light in glass is 1.8 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second you see when the light comes from air and travels to glass the speed of light decrease and this is the reason that light refracted when traveled from one medium to another medium the reason for refraction is the change in the speed of light now I knew that I know that you understood refraction of light and the reason of refraction of light now I will tell I tell you three conditions a light as a light ray passing from a medium in which its speed is higher to the medium in which its speed is lower the refractive ray bends towards the normal for example when when a light ray passing from air air is rare medium when a light ray passing from from air to glass glass is denser medium the la, the refracted ray you see the refracted ray bends towards the normal and i is bigger than r why because the refracted ray bends towards the normal two if the light ray passing from a medium in which its speed is lower to a medium in which its speed is higher the refracted ray bends away from the normal you see when the, ref the light ray passing from glass, glass is denser medium, to air, you see air, air is rare medium. The refracted ray, you see, the refracted ray bends away from the normal, bends away from the normal. And also you see, I is smaller than R. For example, maybe you have this kind of question in your, in your exam. When the light ray passing from the glass to the air, the refracted the refracted ray bends away from the normal or towards the normal. And also when when the light ray passing from glass to air the incident the angle of incident is bigger to the angle of refraction or smaller than uh, to the angle of refraction you have this kind of questions you should remember and three if the incident light ray is perpendicular to the boundary between two transparent media, it moves in a straight line without bending. That is, if the angle of incident is zero, it doesn't undergo an refraction. Okay. If the incident ray is perpendicular, you see the incident ray is perpendicular to to the boundary between two transparent media the angle is zero the incident the angle of incident is zero the incident light ray is perpendicular remember this one the angle is zero the incident light ray is perpendicular if the the angle is the angle of incident is zero it doesn't undergo a reflection refraction and it moves in a straight line without bending here i and r is equal 
and is zero. Okay, my students, these are all about the refraction of light. If you have any question about refraction of light, try to write down and comment below. And if you want to learn physics, try to follow our YouTube channel. Goodbye. See you next time.